Ready to automate your Docker container updates for non-critical applications? Today, we're diving into how to set up Watchtower for automatic updates in your Docker Compose stack. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tenement Tech and our server security series. In the last video, we set up the Docker Image Update Notifier, or DN, to keep tabs on critical security tools. If you missed that one, hit the card above or check the description to catch up. I've put together a GitHub repository with all the files you need for this tutorial, including the Docker Compose files we'll be working with today. You can find the link in the description below. Today, we're focusing on Watchtower, a powerful tool for automating Docker container updates. We'll cover why we should use Watchtower, how to set up Watchtower in your Docker Compose stack, and warnings regarding using Watchtower. By the end of this video, you'll have automatic updates set up for your non-critical applications. Why use Watchtower? In the last video, we set up DN to manually control updates for our critical security tools. But what about non-critical applications? That's where Watchtower shines. Watchtower is an automatic update tool that checks for new versions of your Docker images and updates them automatically. It saves you time by handling routine updates for non-critical apps. It ensures your non-security related services are always up to date with the latest features and bug fixes. And it complements DN perfectly. DN handles critical tools while Watchtower takes care of everything else. Not every application should be updated automatically. Critical security tools like authentication or traffic monitoring need manual control, which is why we use DN for those. But for apps like your homepage, blog, or other non-critical services, automatic updates are safe and convenient. Using both DN and Watchtower gives you the best of both worlds, automated updates for non-critical apps and manual control for critical ones. Now that we understand why Watchtower is useful, let's set it up. If you've been following along with my previous videos, you already have a root Docker Compose file. Let's ensure it includes Watchtower and defines a dedicated network for it. This tells Docker Compose to create a new network called Watchtower and references the Watchtower configuration file we'll set up next. Next, you'll need to create a new folder for Watchtower and create a dedicated Docker Compose file inside it. You can copy the content directly from my GitHub repository, link in the description. Watchtower will notify us by email when it updates containers or when it fails to do so. We'll need to make sure that our environment file has these variables in it. Watchtower will be using its dedicated network. It also needs access to see and update other containers, so it will need to reference our socket proxy. Notice how we have another network for homepage. This is the landing page for our server, which we will be setting up in the next video. In the label section, we will have Watchtower update itself and provide details for how it will show up on our homepage. Homepage has a special widget for Watchtower, but it requires access to the Watchtower API. This is why we enabled the API in our environment. But notice that it requires an API key. We will generate one now. Since we want a cryptographically secure API key, let's use OpenSSL to generate it. First, we'll need to install OpenSSL. Once that is done, we can use it to generate a random hexadecimal key that is 32 characters long. Then we can copy this key and put it into our environment file. And that's it. Now Watchtower will have its API enabled and secured with this API key. And Homepage will use the same API key to access it. I've spent this whole video talking about Watchtower and how to add it to your Docker Compose stack. But you should be aware that the original Watchtower project is no longer maintained. From the time of recording this video, it has been well over a year since it has received an update. Despite this, it still appears to work and other people have forked the project to continue maintaining it. Switching to a fork will be quite simple as you will likely only need to change the image you want in the Docker Compose file. Everything else should still be the same. And you can always look into alternatives if you want. Watchtower isn't the only automatic Docker container updater. When I prepared this series and Citadel, I was unaware that Watchtower was no longer being maintained, but I decided to keep it in the series anyways because some forks are still being kept up to date. So if you'd like to save time and automate setting up Watchtower for your Docker Compose stack, I've included it in my Citadel script. Citadel is a comprehensive server security setup script that automates everything from firewall configuration to Docker security hardening. Check out the link below if you want to streamline your server setup. Did you know that Watchtower is no longer maintained anymore? What alternatives do you recommend? Drop a comment below to let me know. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. In the next video, we'll be diving into how to set up our homepage service with our Docker Compose stack, so stay tuned. And if you haven't seen our previous video on how to set up DN, check it out here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.